So, if you've already picked up Modern Warfare 2, you'll notice that sadly, there are no hardcore playlists present in the game. It's a gaping hole that has impacted millions of players, myself included, as there is a vast portion of us that just appreciates the more realistic, hardcore level of play found in those game modes. Well this year, Hardcore isn't even called Hardcore, it's called Tier 1, and it's an all new conception from the creative minds over at Infinity Ward. Of course, it was such an intelligent creation that it broke itself ahead of launch, and owing to a crashing issue, Infinity Ward had to drop it from the Day 1 release package. Now supposedly, Tier 1 will go live with the first season of Modern Warfare 2 on the 16th of November, but what exactly is it, and what does it include? Call of Duty introduced hardcore modes to the franchise more than 15 years ago, giving players the option to play a more challenging game mode where every shot more or less became a kill. It became a class favourite, particularly among players looking to rank up weapons like pistols and weaker SMGs. Now, it wasn't an operational decision not to include hardcore playlists at the launch of Modern Warfare 2, but more of a technical one. It was unfortunately out of Infinity Ward's hands. So, what exactly is Tier 1? Despite me literally just this second saying it's an all new creation, it kind of isn't. It's the exact same modes that we've been playing for years with players having less health, limited HUD elements, and friendly fire being switched on. That's basically it. There may be some tweaks that ultimately make Tier 1 a more realistic, immersive experience overall, but ultimately, it's going to feel familiar to fans of the hardcore experience. What I've been running in the background during this breakdown is a simulation of Tier 1 against a bot lobby, because at the moment, ahead of the November 16th launch, you can only play Tier 1 modes inside of a private game. Now, are you eagerly awaiting the launch of Tier 1? Or do you think you're better off staying with the core playlists? Let me know below.